हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू टाइम एंड वर्क हाउ वी कैन ब्रिंग इट डाउन टू सिंपल कैलकुलेशन वेयर वी डू नॉट इन्वॉल्व एनी फ्रैक्शनल पार्ट इन आवर कैलकुलेशन सो दैट वी कैन मिनिमाइज द एरर वी कैन रिड्यूस द टाइम इन रिक्वायर्ड इन सॉल्विंग दीज प्रॉब्लम्स एंड इट विल बिकम वेरी ईजी फॉर अस टू सॉल्व दीज प्रॉब्लम्स इन एग्जाम सो हेयर इज वन एग्जाम्पल दैट आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व विद आवर ट्रिक so that we minimize the calculation part here is the question with us the question is p is able to do a work in 15 days and q can do the same work in 20 days if they work together for 4 days what is the fraction of work left so here is a simple question that goes like this and you will find questions like this in your ssc exam so how we can solve this question to minimize the equations and the fractional part now p is able to do 15 days q can do in 20 days so we have to take a fractional part where we can multiply it with some constant or some integer to make it into integers so we will bring it down like p p is one day work one day work here if we go by traditional method then it will come like 1 by 15 then it will go into fractions but to avoid these fractions we will not go like this what we will do we will take the lcm of 15 and 20 that is the number of days required by p and 20 being the number of days required by q and we will take the lcm of 15 and 20 and we will assume the total work being the lcm of 15 and 20 that is the days of p and q that will come out to be 60 means our total work we will assume to be 60 hence now we will try to find out what is p's one day work p is doing 60 amount of work in 15 days so in one day he will do total work 60 by 15 that is 4 p's one day work we have found out to be 4 now similarly for q one day work we can find in similar manner that will be one day ke liye will put 60 divided by 20 since he is able to com complete in 20 days so his one day work is 3 now they start working together that means now p plus q one day work that will be 4 plus 3 the addition of one day work of p plus one day work of q will be our one day work of p plus q that will be 7 means 7 amount of work will be completed in one day if p and q are working together so they are working for four days hence for four days they will be able to complete 7 into 4 amount of work that is 28 means our total work was 60 and we have already completed 28 amount of work when p and q have worked for four days so what is the amount of work left that is what we have been asked in the question left work is simple 60 minus 28 since we have already completed this 28 amount of work so the work left is 32 since we have been asked in the question the fraction of work left so we will divide it by total work so we will be able to calculate the fraction involved so fraction of work completed will be 8 by 15 so our answer will be 8 by 15 hence this option one is correct this is the amount of work that will be left after 4 days so here you can see there are no fractions involved and we have reduced our calculation to simple integers which will be very helpful in exam as there are very less chances of uh, any calculation mistakes and it will take less time as well so keep it up guys have good luck in your exam thank you